Hey everyone, it's Karin here and welcome back to another Polkadot Parachain video. For those of you who are new to my channel, I would like to extend a very, very warm welcome. My goal with this channel is to provide you no BS content on a weekly basis. Now, as for today's video, I'm going to be bringing you some very important and up-to-date information regarding the Moonbeam crowd loan and quite honestly, some pretty hard-hitting facts for us investors. But with that being said, buckle up and let's go. So first and foremost, I would like to let everyone know that to participate in the crowd loan, you will need a minimum of five DOT tokens to surrender to Moonbeam's vault. Now these tokens will be locked away for the entire 96 weeks that Moonbeam has control of a parachain slot. Now Moonbeam themselves, as well as many others, expect a parachain connection in at least one of the first five auctions, which means that you're able to deposit your DOT tokens to participate in the very first auction right up until the 13th of November. And let me explain to you why. Moonbeam actually go on to say that you're able to participate in the auction right up to and within the opening period, which is highlighted in blue. However, if you decide to add more funds into the crowd loan, after the commencement of the ending period, which is highlighted in yellow, then your contribution will go towards the funding of the next auction if that particular one is lost. Now, each white arrow on the chart is a single day, and that means that you have until the 13th of November to participate in the FERC's auction. And if unsuccessful, then you have until the 20th to participate in the second and I guess so on and so forth. Now, this chart is what I created and basically says all you need to know about this. And if this does look particularly foreign uh, to you, then please go and watch my video where I explain how a crowd loan works, where I do go into details on basically how this type of chart works and what the different periods mean, basically how to read what I've presented to you now. As for the reward distribution, this is something that a lot of people aren't happy about, but you'll find it is similar across many crowd loans, guys. So the initial 30% of your rewards, that is at least the amount of Glimmer tokens you will receive for your contribution will be given to you immediately upon phase two, which I will discuss shortly, but is essentially when Moonbeam's developers hand over the metaphorical keys to the token holders. It's the remaining 70% of your tokens that are vested over the lease duration, which is 96 weeks. Now, I know that sounds quite crazy, but when you think logistically, people, it only makes sense to do this. On the bright side, these are vested on a block by block basis, so it is essentially steady and consistent at least. Now, additionally, we may be able to claim our awards at any given time, as far as I can tell, with at least no fee. Now, in my opinion, if you are investing in Moonbeam, you aren't just looking for the current bull run. You need to also look forward and remember that we are investing for our future. And honestly, you'll probably see some decent returns come the next cycle. Now, one of the most common questions I have been receiving is, is it even worth it because we'll be receiving most of our tokens in the bear market? And I guess my simple answer to that is, I know. And this is where you have to remember that based off the 30-70 distribution rule, we pretty much have to assume that this is a long-term investment rather than a short-term one. Now, you're far better off investing in a smaller cap cryptocurrency or even a mid to large cap one that may net you higher returns this bull run. Yes, you still will make, and this is completely dependent on your dot to glimmer ratio, decent returns within the 30% initial allocation. However, will it beat an investment in a smaller cap cryptocurrency? The answer is probably not this bull run, no. So if you are considering investing, remember that you are locking basically all of your capital away for the next two years and essentially 70% of your Glimmer tokens for the gains into the next three or four years. Now, if this is something that you really don't want to do, then I would suggest you consider investing in openly traded parachains like Clover Finance, Latentry, or Darwinia, which should hopefully see a connection before the end of the bull market, or I guess simply invest in other promising projects. There are like 10,000 out there, guys. I also thought I'd better let you all know that Moonbeam has allocated only 100 million Glimmer tokens to the Parachain Crowline with a hard cap on that figure. Now, they also say that the DOT contribution per person is not capped. 
So what this means is that as more and more people begin to add capital into the Moonbeam crowd loan contribution pool, the ratio between dot to glimmer decreases and therefore, of course, that means that your contribution becomes less valuable. Now, this is something that a lot of people have actually mentioned to me recently and is a spark for a lot of criticism. And honestly, I can't argue with that fact. I do think that Moonbeam could have capped the contribution per user, which would have made it a bit more fair. Either way though, I guess I've actually come up with a simple solution to the issue that Moonbeam has either advertently or inadvertently solved themselves. Hear me out. I'll be personally waiting towards the last few days of the first auction to contribute any of my DOT tokens. This is obviously a strategic decision that I felt necessary to share with you all because Moonbeam has stated they will have a live DOT to glimmer ratio tracker on their website. Now, if we consider that there is a cap of 100 million Glimmer tokens to be distributed between all the contributors, we really won't know the ratio of Glimmer tokens until the closing of the first crowd fund. Now, for example, if you went and deposited, say, 100 dot as soon as the crowd fund opened its doors and you saw a 1 dot to 100 Glimmer token ratio, now this is obviously going to be a lot more skewed than this, more like 1 to 1,000. And thought oh well how wonderful but then came back on the 13th of november to realize that this has gone down to one dot to five glimmer tokens for example look i'm pretty sure you're gonna have a minor panic attack so i'll be investing as late as possible most likely around the 12th of november as i won't be kind of risking holding off for too long and if I'm not happy with the ratio, it's quite simple, guys. I will just simply won't invest in Moonbeam until it is openly trading and in a bear market scenario where I can accumulate until the next bull cycle. So I guess what is an appropriate ratio? You might be asking. Well, wait until the end of the video and I will let you know. Now that that has been addressed, I also wanted to point out that you will need an Ethereum-based address to claim your Glimmer tokens, where Moonbeam has specifically stated that you will need to prove you have an access to your private keys, obviously to ensure that you control the account. Now for a newbie, this should mean that you will just have to allow Moonbeam to essentially access your wallet which if you've ever used a DEX is essentially the same process, but I can cover this when the time comes, so don't panic. Now, just to clarify, yes, this means you will not receive your tokens in your Polkadot.js wallet like I possibly thought, or any other Polkadot related wallet for that matter as well. Also, I would like to point out that you'll be able to use an exchange to fund your contribution. However, information has yet to be released on this and will only be open for a select few exchanges. How this works when you're pre-registering, no one really knows yet. However, Moonbeam states that the selective exchanges will release videos on how to do this and therefore I will retweet this on my Twitter. So again, follow me for updates on there. My handle is on screen now. Now on the topic of pre-registering, you don't actually have to worry about rushing in and doing this ASAP like we once thought, as it's been announced that you can do this as you actually contribute your tokens when the crowd loan is live, and that means you're able to do this right up until the auctions. So if anyone is struggling to try to find out how to put some DOT in their polka related wallet, don't worry, you do have some time guys and let me know in the comments if you do have any issues. So now this begs the question, what do I think the ratio of dot to glimmer will be? Now, full disclosure, everyone, I've just got dot points on this and I've tried to lay this out as best as I can on screen. So please bear with me and you obviously have the ability to pause and play the video. So if you are trying to get your head around it and not just trying to skip to the end to figure it all out, then obviously take your time. So first, we need to understand the Moon River auction. So 205,000 KSM tokens were actually contributed, which equals about $48 million invested into Moon River for their auction. Now let's just consider that Moonbeam may have 2.5 times this, just because based off the larger appeal and the almost two and a half times uh, Twitter followers, makes it pretty much a guarantee that we will see at least double the amount invested. But again, remember this could be far higher or lower. We really can't tell as no one has a crystal ball. So for now, if we use this information as a baseline, it would be fair to assume there will be $100 million contributed towards the Moonbeam crowd loan, which would mean that at today's price, a total of about 2.380 million dot tokens will be contributed 
to the pool. In this instance, let's assume your average person invests 10 DOT tokens. You'd be estimated to receive, and I'm just gonna give you the equation for this, 10 divided by 2.38 million times 100 million equals 420 Glimmer tokens, which would make that 420 divided by 10, which is 42 Glimmer per DOT. Now, if I backtrack and we actually assume that Moonbeam reaches a total market cap that Moon River once did of $495 million, that would then mean the price of Moonbeam token would be just under the $5 mark. Now, if you wanted to understand how I got to this value, please check out my Moonbeam and Akali Hidden Gem video linked at the top right hand corner of the screen now where I go into that technical side of it. Now, technically, you would be receiving 42 times 5, which equals $210 per dot now that's not really that too bad the only issue is that if you are only receiving 30 percent of that value initially that pretty much means that if you were to invest 10 dot tokens you would only receive 420 by 5 which is 2100 dollars and then you go take that 2100 dollars and times it by 30 percent which is 630 dollars initially and of course this is keeping in mind that Moonbeam reaches a $5 price tag at a market cap valuation of $495 million. Now, I would expect Moonbeam to launch anywhere between the $10 to $15 range, which means this return would ultimately be multiplied by a factor of two or even three. So to summarize, the best case, if you were to invest 10 DOT tokens into the crowd loan, you'd be looking at a very rough $1,890 profit if Moonbeam hits the $15 mark. So this is again, a very, very rough estimation and the fundamentals behind this are so skewed due to so many variables, but I hope this made sense and gives you a rough idea of what you're looking at. In all honesty, if the contributed dot goes to 10 million or more, this would mean the dot to glimmer ratio would look something like a one to 10, which wouldn't be worth it in my opinion at all. The best thing to do is wait until we have a rough idea on how much is contributed and what this ratio is. But in all honesty, I'm looking for a one to 300 ratio and that is just me. But I think we all know this probably is not going to even come close to happening. This would mean my returns are somewhat worth my investment at this stage as investing 10 DOT tokens would mean you received $4,500 after you take the initial 30% into consideration. Now, yes, this is quite a lot for only 10 DOT. However, we need to consider we are in the final stages of what looks like a huge bull market. And if I'm not receiving a huge return, then I have a better opportunity in many other projects. I will not waste this once in every four year opportunity on something that is lackluster. Now this would technically be a 10X on your investment right away and would actually see you make some pretty significant gains on the remaining 70% of your tokens come the next bull market. But realistically, this is probably not going to happen. Now I don't wanna ramble on forever. However, I wanna also mention that this was off my $5 price evaluation. And if we meet between the five to $10 price prediction at a valuation of $10 per glimmer token, then we're looking at something quite interesting here. In this case, I'd be okay to accept anything around the one to 150 ratio, which would put your returns after the 30% reduction to the same value at $4,500. So what I'm trying to get at here is this is so dependent on literally so many variables, including the price. But what I would conclude this on is that you need to seriously ask yourself if you're comfortable in accepting anything less than 150 glimmer per dot if the price only may, okay, may exceed the 10 to $15 mark. Now, if you're asking me, the answer is probably not, and I wouldn't take that risk. So this means that if I were you, I would say anything under the one to 150 ratio is not worth my investment. And that's just my two cents. Yes, I understand that it probably will fall under the 150 ratio. However, this then comes back to price action and the higher the price goes, the more reasonable it will make a lower ratio. Now, anything over the 150 glimmer ratio is of course a great opportunity, keeping in mind the price of the glimmer token remains and obviously shoots up to the $10 mark. So keep this in mind if somehow this happens. And remember the best possible situation would be a ratio above the one to 300. And this would account for a baseline of $5 token valuation. 
as this gives us more upside potential. At the end of the day, I've given you the knowledge going into this now, and it's your job to figure out if the ratio will meet the desired price targets and allow you to make some decent profits. I know guys, this was a very long-winded explanation and I am not sorry. For all you people who wanted a detailed explanation, then here it is. I don't like doing these because as I mentioned, these variables are ridiculous. However, it was so highly requested, I felt like I had to, so there you go. Now, before I depart, I wanna let you know when we can expect Moonbeam to be up and running. So right now, we're actually in phase zero, as you can see at the top here, which means we're completely centralized so that the developers have access to manipulate anything that may seem off, including monitoring block production and other basic functionalities. Now, in this phase, end users such as ourselves can do nothing to interact with the project. Then the next step is phase one of decentralization where Moonbeam will begin to add more and more collators, which are pretty much the nodes connecting Moonbeam to the relay chain. It's also here where the first instance of governance will be used to issue a runtime upgrade and expand the network. And again, the user experience is the same as phase zero, so we cannot do anything. Then finally, we have phase two, which is the full launch where Moonbeam will hand over the control of the network to token holders and is a time where the initial 30% deposit rewards are given to the CrowdLoan participants. It's also this time that us and users are able to use Moonbeam to transfer funds and stake. Now this is the third and final stage and right now we're obviously at phase zero, so stay tuned for updates. Obviously the end of phase two will be when Moonbeam is completely running. So that finalizes the video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you did have any more questions regarding the crowd loan, you know what to do. Leave your comments below and I will try to get to them as much as possible. Now I am receiving an influx of comments. I do try to respond to every single comment when I get the chance, but lately I've just been flooded. So it is taking me a lot longer and there is gonna be a point where I cannot respond to every comment. So for now, Get all the information you can and let me know and I will try and get back to you. But follow me on Twitter where I do respond to comments more frequently and you'll be receiving the most up-to-date information regarding any parachain auction. And that is at no BS Crypto. You can see my handle on screen now. With that being said, thank you all so much again for watching this video. I will see you on my next one. Bye.